Hey everyone, it is Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel. In today's two-part setup, I'll be bringing you a first video, which will be explaining to you how to set up an incredible looking Android lock screen. And in the second video, I'll be giving to you guys a brand new app titled Zupa Widget Utilities, which is still in beta, but it's gonna make your customizing life a whole lot easier. So without any further ado, let us begin with today's new video. So how this video will work is that I'll first set up this incredibly minimal lock screen titled Elysian Fields by the author Sebastian Spindler aka Kordenka and in part 2 I'll end off by explaining his amazing app Zupa Widget Utilities. The lock screen comes with these clean dark minimal widgets displaying your time, date, temperature as well as your music info if you require. The lock screen includes a neat arrow that unlocks your phone and all of this is set on a picturesque wallpaper of majestic green flowing hills. So up next, how to set up this incredible lock screen. Great, so before you begin, here are the apps that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup. Widget Locker, as this is the lock screen app where everything will be based. Super Widget Pro, as this is the widgets that you saw on the lock screen and you'll need the pro version in order to import those custom templates, which is what we'll be doing shortly. Media Utilities, that'll get your music playing in the Zupa widgets, any file explorer, we do recommend ES File Explorer, and finally Zupa widget utilities, available free from the Google Play Store, but I'll get to that in part 2 of this two part setup. We first need to configure media utilities, but that's easily done by enabling all the application integration apps found in the media utilities settings, as well as enabling all the experimental features within those same settings. Apologies if I'm going slightly fast in this video. If you do think it is too fast, please refer to the previous lock screen setups so that you can get a better understanding of how these lock screens work. Great, so now you have all your apps. So next up, what do you do with all those resources that you'll find in the description? You can either download the zip file onto your computer, then extract it and copy that folder onto your phone, or simply extract the file on your phone using say your file explorer. Next, select the Zupa widget files, these are the ones ending in .zw and paste them into the templates folder found in the Zupa widgets folder that's located on your phone's main SD card directory. That's all your copying and pasting done, now let's move on to setting up that tasty lock screen. Part 2, widget locker setup. Great, now let's tackle that lock screen, alright. Open widget locker, long press and delete any apps or widgets that might be on your lock screen. You want it to be super clean. Tap that white settings icon on the top right, as this will now open up your settings. Select look and feel. Yes, you need to enable alternative wallpaper, then tap select wallpaper and find where you save that sexy wallpaper. No cropping is needed, just make sure to take up as much of the image as possible, and then select OK. For the background tint, not too much as you still want that wallpaper to pop. For your layout, now listen up. Disable automatically determine grid size and set it to a 6x6 or an 8x8. I use an 8x8 but if that doesn't work for you, go one up or one size down and then select save. Yes, you can have a transparent notification bar and change the text and icons to black. But in order to change their colors, your phone needs to be rooted and running a super cool exposed framework module such as Tinted Status Bar. See the description below for more details. Else you can just disable the notification bar for that super clean feel on your lock screen. And now your look and feel is complete. For your advanced settings, you don't want your phone to unlock every time you hit that menu button. So open up the Home Helper and enable Home Helper Component, Home Helper Block Home, and block home in other apps. If you get a pop-up, select yes and always for it, and then go back. Finally, enable widget overlap, and you're now done with setting up widget locker. Now let's bring out those widgets. Hmm, it's Zupa widget time. Part three, Zupa widget setup. We're almost there guys, let's do this. Long press on the lock screen. Select a four by three for the clock at the top, and then resize it so that it takes up the whole width of the screen. Then select back. Tap the widget. 
This will now open up your Zupa widget configuration doobly doo. And then select the open icon and find that clock widget for this very setup. Tap back to see your creation come to life and resize or reposition if necessary. See the description for the complete guide to Zupa widget in case you are still new to this amazing app. Now do the same for both the music controls and music info Zupa widgets with their heights only needing to be one column. Then come back here once you're done with those. Don't worry, I'll give you some time. That's now the Zupa widgets down and remember to select each one. Open your desired module within the layout section and then open the module on tap setting. This is where you can then select an app or shortcut so that once you're back in the main Zupa widget settings, select that on tap action and then select disabled as now you'll only open that desired hotspot and not the configuration menu every single time which can get very messy. Finally, let's move on to that unlock button at the bottom. Part 4, that custom slider setup. So for this final part, well unless you don't want to see what makes Zupa Widget Utilities so awesome, you can now move on to two ways of setting up this custom slider. You can simply create a blank Zupa Widget, place the icon that's included with this very folder and then set that on tap action to your current launcher. It works, but I feel like that's somewhat cheating, so I prefer using the custom slider that comes with Widget Locker. So to start, long press on that lock screen, select Custom Slider, changing the theme to Invisible Tabs Theme. Don't have it? Select Get Themes and download it from the Widget Locker site. Select it once you have downloaded it, and then select Install Only. Once that is selected, slide that silver sound icon to the left and then change that action to disabled as we do not need it for this very setup. Next, swipe the unlock icon to the right and then select the icon tab as we want to change the look of this icon. Select gallery and choose that arrow that came with this folder that you downloaded. No cropping is required and then simply select done. Now all you have to do is to resize it so that it's long, not wide. Let me repeat that. Keeping your slider very wide will keep it in the landscape mode. But resizing it so that it's say two columns wide but five columns high, it'll then change to a portrait mode. Just get that into place so that it looks good and hey, that is your lock screen set up. You can always test it out by then locking your phone and unlocking it revealing a lock screen that looks a million times better. But now, what happens when you want to change your wallpaper to say something much darker and your widgets end up not looking too good? Well, that's where part two of this video comes in, which introduces you to what Zupa Utilities is and what makes it so incredible. So thanks very much guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. This concludes part one of this two part series. So if you'd like to watch part two, which explains exactly what Zupa Widget Utilities is and how to use it, you wanna click in that annotation right there or in the description below. Other than that, please don't forget to check out our various social communities, as well as please don't forget to check out My Color Screen's official one-click theming launcher titled Thema Beta available free from the Google Play Store. Other than that, it is Marco here from the My Color Screen channel, and as always, don't stop customizing.